Namaste, I am Krishna Yathini, I am Mandela, you are EV Bro. Today we have a competitor for RB400 electric bike, Jayshree Group Evitric Rice. Whether this electric bike is a competitor for RB400 or not, whether you can buy this electric bike or not, let's review this bike in this video. Before we start, we already made a complete test ride review about Evitrix Rise electric bike and we have uploaded that in KCM Locks channel. You can watch that KCM Locks channel for complete test ride review. Now let's talk about the design of Evitrix Rise electric bike. So this bike, the design is most like similar to conventional petrol vehicles like uh, Hero Honda or Honda Shine, similar kind of bike look design, more like a conventional feel. And build quality wise like 30% metal and 70% fiber plastic, especially the trunk part, the grab rail and the chassis element mostly the metal, metal element and the remaining are mostly fiber plastic. Now let's go with the front portion of the electric bike, how is the design and how is the build quality of it. Starting from the headlamp, you can see there is a LED headlamp here and low beam and high beam is provided and you can see the number plate hook is provided here and side light indicators are there and suspension wise there is a telescopic suspension here and it is the hydraulic suspension whereas the front side you have mud guard protection from the mud and uh, the tire size it is uh, 18 inch tubeless tires actually the tire actually slim at the fr at the front front tire whereas the rear side it's somewhat fatter like uh, that, that is a small tire but it is 18 inch tubeless tire where the disc brake, they have used disc brake at the front side. Now let's see the comfort of Jayshree Group uh, Evitric Rise electric bike. So I already tested this bike for more than 5 days. So based on that experience I am telling you the seat seems to be a little hard when you go for long ride experience. And apart from that the length of the seat comfortable for 3 slim passengers. If they are medium size then it is suitable for 2, two passengers. And the ground clearance of this electric bike is 190 millimeters. And coming to the rear side, you have a strong grab rail here, whereas back back side uh, normal halogen lights and there is a side light indicators and uh, mud guard available here. The mud guard seems like above average kind of mud guard quality here. And tires again, as we earlier discussed, slightly smaller size tires when compared to the front side, but these are fat tires like 16 inch tubeless tires. And braking wide also it is a disc brakes availability here whereas the suspension you can see it is dual spring suspension compared to RV400 even, even I ride RV400 electric bike that is monoshock suspension based on that if you see that the, the suspension feel is better than that due to the dual spring suspension whereas the motor capacity they are using 1.8 kilowatt BLDC hub motor with a peak power of 3 kilowatt. And the top speed they are offering is 75 to 80 km per hour. But when I tested, I reached up to 65 kph. I didn't go beyond that. But the company said 75 kph to 80 kph is the top speed. Now coming to front side protection wise, there is leg guard protection here. If in case the bike got slipped away, then it doesn't damage the entire fiber plastic materials. That is why they, they have given this leg guard protection. And you have this foot pegs for the rider and also foot pegs for the pillion and center stand and also side stand here and the side stand they have a side stand sensor as well if the side stand is on the electric bike will not move and there is even a ladies footrest is available the sari god is available so more for a comfortable feel for the pillion rider as well now coming to the heart of this electric bike the battery pack they have used lithium ion battery pack nmc chemistry and the battery pack is fixed but compared with the Evitrix Rise, Jayshree Group has slightly modified the battery pack architecture of this bike. They have used a fast charging compatible lithium ion battery pack here. So this battery pack can be charged in uh, up to 80% in 30 to 40 minutes at the charging stations provided by Jayshree Group across the dealership network in Andhra Pradesh. So that charging time is only 30 to 40 minutes, 80% can be charged. Whereas the battery pack capacity is 2.88 kilowatt hour to be specific 72 volt 40 h lithium ion battery pack it is a fixed battery pack only for the safety reason because they are using dc fast charging station but compared with normal avitrix bike you don't get this uh, fast charging compatible battery pack now coming to slow charging they will provide a normal 10 amps charger also that is for home charging so this is the charging slot compartment just you need to one, one tap here and the lid will open. Here you can use this uh, lid and you can charge this bike in three, three and a half hours to four hours. Whereas on a full charge, you can get a range of 120 kilometers. Now let's talk about the switches available in this electric bike. What is the switches and uh, 
what are the features in this electric bike left side it is low beam and high beam switch this is a left indicator right right indicator switch this is the parking switch and this is horn louder and this is the usb charging socket you can charge your mobile phone and this is the modes first mode second mode and third mode what is the speed in each mode and what is the range we have already discussed in our vlogs video please watch that video in ksm vlogs and this is the main head led headlamp uh, low beam and high beam and this is reverse mode you need to use the re reverse button to on the reverse mode how is the reverse mode op operation we already discussed in ksm vlogs and this is the special feature for this electric bike this has sound option just like rv400 just switch on and this bike also comes with remote key option as well and how is the remote key operation we already made that in ksm vlogs you can watch that so this is the dashboard of uh, evitric rise electric bike so the charging percentage you can see five bars and voltage is showing here initially the bike will be in p mode so you need to remove the side stand and if you are good to for then you need to press the p button to go for a ride and this is the speed indicator and modes and also the time and also the odometer so this dashboard part also we have discussed in ksm vlogs you can watch that in ksm vlogs channel for complete ride review i'm already using this electric bike for more than 5 days so based on that experience i'm sharing my positives and improvements of evitri rise electric bike let us talk about the positives of this bike the first thing it's about the braking the braking is pretty sharp the front end disc brakes and combi braking system it is working accurate and the second thing it's about the suspension as compared with the front suspension the rear suspension is more comfortable if 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 you are going with uh, a pillion rider the comfort levels are even better and coming to the battery pack they are they are providing dc fast charging i think no electric bike in andhra pradesh offering the dc fast charging option for electric bikes the jayshri group is offering that for based on the customer feedback for for providing the better service for the customer they are offering dc fast charging 30 to 40 minutes of char charging time to 80 percent and the range also like 120 kilometers of range on a full charge that is okay for these uh, city road traveling for example 50 to 50 you can get up to 100 kilometers of range and also the lighting visibility at night time is pretty good in this electric bike and also the smart key features are some of the main advantages of this bike whereas the improvement parts of this bike the first thing it i already discussed about the seat comfort it seems a little hard they, they need to add more cushion to it maybe in it adds a seat cover to for a better comfort and the second thing it's about the motor calibration so initially you find little kind of jerks so once you started habituated for the throttle experience then within 1 to 2 days you you more habituated for the throttle so the calibration can be done that that kind of uh, min minimal minimal kind of issues that that is one more uh, improvement and the third thing it's about the battery percentage usually the battery percentage is showing in voltage but if they can provide the, that in terms of range in kind of numbers it will be more beneficial for the customer so these are the improvements i have observed in this bike overall when i ride this electric bike especially with doubles we went for a ride we ride for around like 37 to 38 kilometers but only one bar has uh, down so you can expect in the sports mode also we rode that bike in third mode Uh, up to 40 to 45 kph top speed in that mode we got up to 40 kilometers of range still up to like 60% of charge left so we can expect up to 80 kilometers of range even with doubles also that is a good factor so now comparing to the pricing wise the price factor is very important here the price of this electric bike ex showroom is 149000 rupees whereas the on road price is 160000 rupees now considering the competitors right now available across andhra pradesh even in all parts of country to be specific in andhra pradesh the rv400 electric bike ex showroom price is 154000 including the charger price so it's not without the charge this bike also comes with the charger so ex showroom price is 154 for rv400 whereas the on road price is 164000 around that so based on that the bike price is somewhat less but rv400 has better range whereas rv400 don't have that much of dealership network across across andhra pradesh but the, they are jayshri group is planning to expand every part of constituency in andhra pradesh they, they are going to plan for more than 600 plus dealership network across andhra pradesh even dc fast charging stations they are providing so that is one advantage whereas smart features rv400 has better smart features when when compared to this but this bike also comes with a remote key option overall you see other bikes like torque kratos and uh, Open road electric bike. Those bikes are available only particular cities. 
and and those bikes are not available in locally so moreover if any person is in locally they, they need an electric bike they want to go for a showroom for any kind of service assurance jay shri group is telling that we will provide the assurance of service and the battery bag claims any kind of spare parts everything we we going to take care that point of assurance if you if you want a range of up to 100 kilometers to 120 kilometers on a full charge and that too with the fast charging support you go for a test ride in the nero showroom from jay shri group how is the comfort levels of this bike you watch customer reviews not just in our channel in all the channels and also the reviews in our channel finally after doing test ride only take your decision for any electric vehicle so that's the complete details about jay shri group evitric rec electric bike if you are an electric vehicle owner willing to share your ownership review with us please whatsapp your details to the number shown on the screen or else fill the form link in the description if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro for automobile videos please subscribe to mvs auto for complete ride reviews please subscribe to ksm vlogs charge the nature drive the future